welcomed us to the show by saying black power, black power. Okay. Um, is, is there some truth to the assimilation that black men want or perceive to want when it comes to this war being waged against well, you? Well, there's definitely some truth to it, but I think that truth is also evident in black women. Uh, black men, many of them may choose to want a white woman, but many black women choose to look like white women. So we have to look at ourselves and we have to recognize that the pathology is not more of one gender than the other. That's the issue I have with conversations that seek to see who is more at fault, the black man or the black woman. It's not about who's more at fault. We rise together or we will perish together. The black man cannot survive without his woman and the black woman cannot survive without her man. And the issue that I take with my two sisters narrative is I hear a lot of criticism. I hear a lot of condemnation, but I don't hear any empowerment. I don't hear any solutions coming from either one of them. It appears as if that there is a hatred towards black men about those sisters, even when they said, why are we going back to 1960? Let's stay in 2022. That is so immature and irresponsible of a statement. As a psychologist, when a client comes into my office, the first thing I perform is a history on their depression, a history on their suicide, a history on their anxiety. When you go see the medical doctor, he performs a history. When you go buy a home, they perform a history. When you go purchase an automobile, they perform a history on that automobile. But when we talk about the problems that affect black males, we're supposed to look at it in a vacuum. We're not supposed to put it in a historical context. And with that being said, the, the language and the narrative that's coming out of the mouth of these two beautiful black women is one that I think the white power structure would endorse because it totally absolves them of any responsibility for the hell black men catch in this country.